Welcome to today's video. I'm here with Will Gerling, nutritionist for EF Pro Cycling, and today we're talking about keto diets. <laughs> I just realized you're recording and I was just like... <laughs> Luckily the studio is big enough that we can do one meter. There is, yeah, one yeah, meter. It's one a meter. Four meter. I'm sat on a really high stool. <laughs> but you're the same height. Yeah, because I'm short and you're tall. Mm -hmm. That is better if I sit on this yeah, stool. Yeah. I am in charge of this interview. I dropped that. I'm not actually going to wear these. Today we're going to be talking about keto diets for cycling and why they're possibly not the best idea. This is my mate Will. Regular viewers will recognise him from previous episodes of the vlog. He's a nutritionist. Nutritionist for EF Pro Cycling at the moment. Yep. Kind of not because there isn't any racing going on. Yeah. But also a nutritionist and coach to regular people as well. Is that a good introduction? It is a decent That's right, that's who you are. Yeah. Yeah. Nutritionist sits here with his Red Bull. <laughs> yeah, it's a diet Red Bull, it's fine. So I've prepared some questions for you. Oh, it's a bit like Parkinson's. I've prepared some questions for you on the topic of keto, yeah. keto diets. But let's start from the basics. What is a ketogenic diet? Ketogenic diet is a diet that is lower than 50 grams of carbohydrate, predominantly fat, probably around 85% fat, moderate protein, and having such low carbohydrate over a period of time causes the body to create ketone bodies, which you then use supposedly as a source of energy. So that's less than 50 grams of carbs a, a day. day? A day, yeah. So that's barely any carbohydrate. That's, that's barely, like nothing. Yeah, yeah, nothing. It's pretty much just fat and some proteins. What, what kind of foods are you gonna be eating? Fat obviously is gonna come from oily fish, where you're getting your omega-3s, uh, things like sea bass, salmon, sardines, mackerel, and so on. You're also gonna get from your nuts, the whole um, host of nuts, uh, from your oils, avocado, things like this. And obviously you can get it from your saturated fat sources like butter and meats, which is needed, but not a huge amount. Why have these diets become popular in the world of sport? There's a really great study. Well, it's the first study that showed it. I'm gonna talk about science, surprisingly. Um, the first study that did it was a guy called Finney et al. in 1983. And he showed, had five guys who were well-trained and essentially saw by following a ketogenic diet that they were able to perform just as well as a high carbohydrate diet. It was, it was 60 to 65% VO2 max. So you kind of high end zone two, mid zone two stuff. And they did a total time to exhaustion and they performed exactly the same. And that was the first and main study that pushed this idea of ketogenic diets and how they can have you performing just as well, supposedly, as a carb based diet. Does a ketogenic diet actually offer any performance benefit in cycling, our sport? So, yes and no. If we look at it, any kind of sport where you're doing high intensity efforts, it doesn't. It, carbohydrate diets outperform a ketogenic diet every single time there is any kind of efforts in your the race or whatever you're doing. If it's steady state and you're keeping around what zone two with some zone three. Like ultra sort of thing. Ultra stuff, yeah. Um, then it is good for that. But the, the thing is, and what's really interesting is, any study out there that looks at it, the ketogenic diet only performs as well as the high carb diet. So you're making all these sacrifices of eating less than 50 grams of carbohydrate, the limitations that it gives to perform just as well as a carb based diet. Would it be fair to argue I'm just playing devil's advocate here. Mm -hmm. um, the convenience of not having to eat as much physical volume of food. Yeah. So if you're doing an ultra marathon, you have to carry all of your stuff with you. Yeah. Um, eating 80 grams or 60 grams of carbohydrate an hour, that's a lot of food. And you're eating regularly. Yeah. Whereas if you did it through fat and you were just, eat, I don't know, taking a shot of butter mm. or oil or something, mm. if the convenience yeah, is yeah. That, that that is a factor, right? Yeah. So. The most prominent stuff that they're looking at now is about these ultra endurance events where especially ultra marathons in particular more so than cycling um, because it's so much easier to eat food on the bike mm -hmm. than it is and carry extra but then you've got the convenience of like okay depending on how long it is if you're going to a gas station and stuff you're really limited in what you can get yeah. and it's so much easier still to get carbohydrate than it is to try and run a ketogenic diet while stopping at gas stations and places like this and once again, you need to guarantee that you're not doing any high intensity because your ability to perform it massively reduces in a ketogenic diet. What constitutes high intensity? So what, what zone does it not become? It's hard. So in, in the, the literature of science, it says above 80% VO2 max. So what that would be in what zones? 
I guess it's like zone four and above. In some of these studies that, that looked at ketogenic diets to high carb diets, there have been ketogenic diets with a detriment to their performance. And this is because as you get more efficient and you use more fat, fat has a really high oxygen cost to turn into energy. Okay. So though you may get more energy from it, you need more oxygen to get that energy, which means that you don't actually improve your ability to perform better because the cost to do it is more. So there's one thing I'm really interested in and I know is quite popular in the world of racing at the moment and that is ketone supplements. Hey, Jim, not, yeah, yeah, yeah not, not like your raspberry ketones that you uh, buy from Hot and Barrett. you don't want raspberry ketones? Yeah, well, I don't know what they do. But the proper HVMN or human, is that how you say it? I think it's I like human, know. but I, really, I forget the order. HMVN or NV or H... Whatever that drink is. There's yeah. a really, really expensive Drink. Super expensive. It's like 30 euros a serving. Um, tastes like nail varnish remover. Yeah. I've actually tasted a little bit of it. Yeah, I didn't really like have petrol, right? But it, it was disgusting. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that is putting ketones, which your body would normally be producing yeah, in so a ketogenic ketone state. Ester. So you're you're drinking that. Yeah, yeah. What are they? What does that improve your performance? Yeah. So they did a bunch of studies on this. It's by a guy called Cox et al. Um, and obviously, you know, other people and. What they saw was taking on these ketone esters essentially gave you another energy source. So you know we've spoken about you take on carbohydrate, use carbohydrate to fuel energy. If you take on these ketones, it supposedly or does give you another source of energy. So you're in, still using carbs at the same time? Still using carbs at the same time, okay. but you can use ketones as well as, which is why obviously it'd be beneficial. But even within their studies, some of them don't see a performance improvement, some of them do. And depending on the person, it depended on the study. Yeah. Um, so there is, it's not, I wouldn't say fully proven to say, yes, that definitely improves performance. Mm -hmm. And I think the biggest like caveat to it is obviously working with world tour guys that have used it, that it tastes so bad that a lot of them struggle to stomach it. Yeah. It's rank. Yeah. It, it's I'm so not rank. joking when I said nail varnish remover, it, like, no, yeah, yeah. Not that I've drunk nail varnish remover. But I imagine Wouldn't it tastes imagine. the same yeah, yeah, yeah. from the smell. How popular do you think it is in the world tour at the moment? It's pretty popular. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people doing it. Because people are like, if there is a potential for a performance improvement, they're going to do it. And it's legal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's currently legal. But the, also the other thing though, is other than it being super expensive for like everyday people, mm -hmm. is we don't know what the long-term effects of it are. Like you think about- Is it going to, is it going to, because you're taking in so much of it, will you end up not producing ketones yourself anymore. You think about how rancid it tastes, yeah. like what's that gonna do to your body inside? Like there's no long-term studies going, looking at health and looking at, if you, if you think, you've, if you've got the money and you spend your you know, time trial season having those every single race, like what's that gonna do to you? Not everyone's goal is just to get faster on a bike. Some people yeah. just wanna lose weight. Yeah, yeah. Who would you recommend explores a ketogenic diet as an option? If at all. Yeah. Really, is, I, is it more hassle than it's worth? Yeah, because ulti ultimately it comes down to, and the main reason people do ketogenic diets is really for them to lose weight, right? Weight loss, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So there's no, if you calorie match a carb based diet and a ketogenic diet, there is no difference in the amount of fat you lose. There's none. You know, if you're in the same amount of calorie deficit, you'll lose the same amount of body fat. Yeah. The main difference that you see in studies where they lose more weight in ketosis compared to carbs is purely from the fact that you have less carbohydrate on you. So you know obviously how you store carbohydrate as glycogen on your body, stored with water. It's like a lot of water, yeah. yeah. I was say. So like if you're not having any carbs, you've got no glycogen and you've got no water being stored with it. So you're obviously gonna be a bit lighter, yeah. but you're losing out for all your high-end benefits, I guess. Mm -hmm. But if we're just talking about weight loss, I, I don't think it's worthwhile. Like the fact that you can't, you know, you're gonna go to restaurants with your friends. Well, kind of if it, if lockdowns complete. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, you know, you go out with these meals. What are you gonna have? There's no pizza for you. Like, I don't, well, I, to, Sean Sacco. Yeah. He used to go to restaurants with him. Yeah. In Cape Town. He'd just have a burger. And then yeah, but he'd, South he'd, Africa. He'd, he'd give me the bun. Oh my god. I think it's super restrictive. If it works for you, like, because that's the thing. There's going to be exceptions. That, like, people, there's going to be some people who get on with it. Yeah, just because exactly. they like the taste of those foods. Yeah, yeah, completely. Like, and really some people like, like the rigidity. Some people like, you know, it works for them. Because also it does, it definitely improves your satiety. You feel fuller on it. Really? Like, yeah, reportedly, like, you know, people feel fuller on ketosis. Mm -hmm. 
or a ketogenic diet, but if it's not for you and you enjoy eating carbs and you enjoy being social and you enjoy having a couple of drinks more than just two or something like this, then like it's not, I don't think it's going to be for you. And the biggest thing I think for anyone wanting to lose body fat and drop weight, whatever you want to call it, is it needs to be sustainable. It needs to be the thing that you can do long term. If you can't do it long term and you stop enjoying riding your bike, it's pointless. So that concludes today's video on keto diets. Will <laughs> is available for hire. If you want to hire him to do your nutrition, if you want to lose weight, gain performance. Both at the same time. Both at the same time. If you just want to chat to him, check out the link down below to his website. And YouTube channel. And go on it. And YouTube channel. I have a YouTube channel now. Yeah, no, don't subscribe to that. But seriously, thank you for being on the show. Definitely. And we'll do this again soon. Definitely. I'm going to buy another chair. I should also add, thank you for watching today's video. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Equally, if you have any questions for Will, put them in the comment section. And I'm sure he will do his best to answer them. I do get back to everyone, yeah. Everyone? Yeah, everyone, yeah. In your, oh, in your last videos, I replied to everyone. Oh. 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 <laughs>